At this point, you should feel yourself comfortable with doing this weird uh, bearing stacks because only more to come while 7 KNB drive models. And pardon me for a crappy quality. Um, I printed this with what I have. The bearings again are uh, fitted on uh, M5 30 mm screws. And to start with, you have to hold your model like this. This is a B model and it's actually upside down. So these are the motor uh, screw points. You'll have to put two M5 screws on the bottom of the frame like this and then start assembling. First of all comes one spacer, then a bearing stack, then two spacers, then another bearing stack, and then yet another spacer. And this screw should have one spacer, one bearing stack, and one spacer. So when you put them together, when you finally put them together, they should look like this. For the smaller one, spacer, stack, spacer. For the bigger one, spacer, stack, two spacers, uh, stack and spacer. Now you can gently install the other half on top of the first one. And here I might have some print quality issues. No, not so much. And as always, after you, you have done any part of this installation, uh, make sure that the bearings rotate freely and do not become blocked. After that, you can uh, take three uh, M3 30 mm screws and put them here in these three holes because they will be used to secure the motors. As you see, they protrude the smallest bit from the bottom, just enough to attach the motor. Next comes the A model. Uh, again, you'll have to hold it upside down like this. Again, take two M5 screws, put them into these two big holes. On the top of the frame, yes, this is the top, this is the bottom, we are basically assembling it upside down. And then do very similar assemblies. One spacer, one stack, one spacer, one spacer, one stack, two spacers, one stack, one spacer. So to the assembly they look like this. Then you can hopefully click the both parts together. Again double check that all your spacers are in place and the bearing can rotate freely. Again M3 30mm screws, three more, which should secure the motor in place. Now it's time to actually prepare the motors. Two pulleys and one, two, three, four grab nuts for each. Uh, here is the tricky part because A and B motors are basically symmetrical as you can see from here uh, and one requires to a pulley to be mounted this way and another one requires the pulley to be mounted the very much opposite way. So don't forget to put him into the opposite states. Otherwise installation is very common. Take your grub nut, apply a little bit of treadlock compound. First secure that grub nut which is adjacent to the edge in the shaft and then install the second grub nut. One of the models will have these two holes on the top and these are for the heated inserts. So we can install the cable cover and the cable cover will be later installed like this. The final part would be motor installation, so you should align your motors with your single pulleys like this. So if you're having pulley on top, then the uh, notches should be also on top. 
and I also align uh, it so the wires go on the back of the AB model. After you're done with the motor installation, it is a nice time to check if your motor pulleys are aligned with uh, bearing idlers. And if it's not, just to realign them and fix them in place once more. Otherwise, your belts will be a bit skewed and uh, will wear out much faster than you would like to. Now this is perfectly aligned. It's hard to see because my pulley is black, but believe me it is. And uh, both your AB models are ready. So next part will be actual gantry assembly when we will be putting these two beasts together.